Greetings, ladies and metal gents, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales from Outer Space, where I take stories from across the internet and read them for your entertainment. This particular story is called Hunting Humans, written by its director. Thank you for choosing the Galarthian Hunting Agency for your sentient hunting needs. Please read the entirety of the following documentation. Failure to read this documentation may result in grievous harm and or death. Happy hunting. You have chosen to hunt Ayana. Background information. Ayana, colloquially known as humans or Homo sapiens sapiens, arise from a nitrogen-rich planet of NT-477, locally known as Earth. NT-477 features a rich biosphere which has resulted in several apex predators, including Ayana. Species details. Ayana are pre-space age omnivores and are able to survive for long periods of time with heavily restricted diets. They require oxygen for respiration and liquid water for hydration. In the wild, Ayana can live up to 120 years with an average of 72 years. When kept as a pet, Ayana can live up to 280 years with an average of 210 years. Despite being a world-bound species, Ayana are remarkably intelligent. Their pattern recognition is particularly notable and allows them to evade traps more often than not. For further information, please refer to document 12937-I in the Galactic Library. Please note, due to the Ethics in Sentient Hunting Act, Aisha, Ayana hunting has been restricted to males aged 20 to 40 NT-477 orbits without disabilities. Waiver of liability. Hunting sentient beings is dangerous. But by taking in this activity, you agree that you are aware of and appreciate such dangers with full understanding of the possible consequences. You hereby knowingly and voluntarily assume all risks of any nature associated with this activity, as well as waive, release, and discharge from any and all liability, including, but not limited to, liability arising from the negligence or fault of the entities or persons released, for your death disability, personal injury, property damage, property theft, or actions of any kind which may hereafter occur to you, including your traveling to and from this activity. Galashian Hunting Agency and its employees. You certify that you are physically fit, have sufficiently or trained for participation in this activity, and have not been advised to not participate in this activity by a qualified medical professional. You certify that there are no health-related reasons or problems which preclude your participation in this activity. You hereby consent to receive any and all medical treatments which may be deemed advisable in the event of injury, accident, and or illness during this activity. You agree to read and abide by any and all guidelines set forth by Galatian Hunting Agency with the understanding that failure to do so may result in severe consequences including, by way of example and not limitation, personal injury, property damage, property theft, disability, and or death. You acknowledge that the aforementioned guidelines and incident log has been provided to you, and as such, you are as informed of the possible dangers as Garshan Hunting Agency and its employees, as required by the Extreme Sports Safety Act, ESSA. By participating in this activity, you certify that you have read and understood all relevant documentation and are participating of your own free will. Danger level. Medium. No. High. No. Extreme. Danger mitigation guidelines. Number one, anti-projectile armor. No. Full body anti-penetration suit must be worn by all hunters at all times. Two, all hunter armaments must utilize biometric safety. Three. Only traps and ranged weapons are to be utilized during hunts. 4. Only galosh and hunting agency transportation is to be used. 5. Hunts must be halted if tunnels are encountered. 6. Galosh and hunting agency does not negotiate with prey, or with entities acting on behalf of prey, under any circumstances. 7. Only one prey may be hunted at a time. Incident Log Ayana Hunt 2 Solo hunter culled by prey with rudimentary traps. Drones deployed. Ayana terminated. Ayana hunt 7. Party of hunters killed by prey with rudimentary traps. Drones deployed. Ayana terminated. Ayana hunt 9. 
hunter in a party killed by prey with rudimentary projectiles. The Ayana was able to fashion a sling utilizing items gained from its immediate environs. The rest of the hunting party completed the hunt. Ayana terminated. Ayana Hunt 17. Party of hunters killed by prey. Hunters were using armaments that did not feature biometric safeties. The Ayana captured one of the weapons and utilized it against the hunters. Drones deployed. Four drones lost. Ayana terminated. Ayana Hunt 19. Solo hunter killed by prey in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Drones deployed. Ayana terminated. Note, Ayana was consuming the hunter. Ayana Hunt 25. Party of hunters briefly stranded. Hunters utilized personal shuttle, which the Ayana stole. Drones deployed. Shuttle destroyed. Ayana terminated. Ayana Hunt 26. Party of hunters killed by prey with rudimentary traps. Drones deployed. Ayana terminated. Ayana Hunt 29A. Prey eluded party of hunters. Ayana dug an intricate tunnel system via unknown means. Tracking chip non-functional due to sedimentary interference. Hunt abandoned. Drones deployed. Ayana not found. Ayana Hunt 29B. Party of hunters killed by trapped tunnels. Drones deployed. Ayana not found. Ayana Hunt 29C. Party of hunters killed by trapped tunnels. Drones deployed. Ayana not found. Thermonuclear ordnance utilized. Ayana presumed terminated. Note, new hunting site established due to radiation hazards. Ayana Hunt 34. Protocol breach. Ayana was captured with pre-space age military grade armaments. Galatian hunting agency transport shuttle was destroyed and the hunting party was systematically hunted down and killed by the Ayana. The Ayana made use of the hunting party's several limbs to render the hunting party's biochemically locked weapons functional. Drones deployed. 47 drones destroyed. Ayana terminated. Ayana Hunt 35. Solar Hunter injured by prey. Ayana stalked and attacked Hunter in melee range. Hunter was bitten. Hunt completed. Ayana terminated. Note, Hunter developed an extreme infection at the site of the bite and later perished. Ayana Hunt 39. Solar Hunter captured by prey. Ayana stalked and managed to subdue Hunter. Captive Hunter attempted a negotiation on Ayana's behalf. Drones were deployed. Hunter and Ayana terminated. Note, the Ayana terminated the hunter once drones were in view. Ayana 41. Party of hunters killed by prey with rudimentary traps. Drones deployed. Ayana terminated. Ayana Hunt 44. Party of hunters killed by pack of prey. The Ayana worked as a group to eliminate the hunters with brutal efficiency, utilizing rudimentary weapons and traps. Drones deployed. All Ayana had terminated. Note, First instance of a group of Ayana being hunted. Thank you once again for choosing to hunt Ayana with Galashian Hunting Agency. We hope that you have an enjoyable experience. Don't forget to leave a review of your hunting trip in the Star Guide. Star Guide, the premier choice for consumer reports. Search inquiry, Galashian Hunting Agency Ayana Hunt. Search results, sought by relevancy. Four out of five stars, Ayana Hunt 1. It was an honor to take part in the first Ayana hunt. We tracked it for days. Amazing endurance. Took multiple shots to finally bring it down. Minus one star was not allowed to have it stuffed. Two out of five stars. Ayana hunt five. A slog of a hunt. The beast dragged it out as much as it could, which was unfortunately well within its capabilities. Impressive stamina, but the payoff was not worth the extra work. One out of five stars. Ayana hunt 22. Having to wear armor and use biometric weapons made the whole thing feel like a military exercise rather than a hunt. The armor was used and itchy. Ugh, gross. One out of five stars. Ayana Hunt 25. The damn thing stole our ship, and the bastards at the agency shot our shuttle down. They didn't even reimburse us. We were trapped on that planet for days while they figured everything out. Pissed that I can't rate zero stars. Four out of five stars. Ayana Hunt 27. Had to use hunting agency, shuttle, and armor, neither of which were comfortable, other than the hunt was pretty fun. One out of five stars, Ayana Hunt. Had to wear a puncture-resistant suit, smelled like ass, and I'm pretty sure that it was stained with cricorous blood. The shuttle also smells like ass and looks like it has blood stains. Pretty sure they don't wash the damn thing they force their customers to use. End of story. Story number two, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, written by Competitive Low 5970. Step 
21. Turn east. The sky was aflame with fire. Thousands were up there in the poorly built spacecraft, assembled hastily. Thousands were dying. Soldiers of the Earth flung into a vacuum in a desperate fight. The air was heavy with loss. A putrid heaviness that seemed to infect the marble sarcophagus the sentinel was guarding. So much death. And for what? 21 seconds. Turn north. Switch weapon to other shoulder. They will never find a body to bury. They knew what they signed up for. But they will be remembered. As long as this tomb is here. As long as there is a sentinel guarding it. Every single one of them. Known but to God in heaven. But forever immortalized on earth for their sacrifice. A symbol for the future. Step 21. Turn east. A ring of slag and debris was forming. Kessler syndrome, detrimental to our ships, also to their ships as well. A swarming mass chipping away at the enemy. Even in their death, do our ships still serve? We'll have done more damage to them than we have suffered in the end. 21 seconds, turn south. Switch weapon to other shoulder. It won't be enough, yes. The troops of the enemy will land soon, and the earth will be engulfed in fire. The sentinel clenches the gun tighter. If they aren't here to guard this place, who will? To guard the memories of so many is a duty that cannot be abandoned. And so they stay, M14 in one shoulder and a silver badge adorned on the uniform. The words, honor God, carved into metal. Repeat, step 21. Statue of the Sentinel during the invasion of 2040, a sentinel stood guard here, protecting the tomb of the unknown soldier. Armed with only an M14 rifle, they managed to defend and preserve this historical monument against overwhelming odds. Suffering from blood loss and severe plasma wounds, they mustered the last of their strength to write the last words that they will ever write in the blood of their enemies. Leave it alone! The statue has been erected in honor of Patrick Stewart and all devoted servicemen who perished in the Cradle War. Thank you for your service. End of story. There is a new legend on the horizon. Blueberry Cat has taken the T6 Patreon spot Thank you very much, and I'm sure that I speak for everyone when I say that. I would just like to thank our T5 members. Lord Azrakal, Ambrose Cattell, Quantum Wednesday, Dregzoon WRE, Blueberry Cat, Cam Maxwell, Casper Arnholtz, Bushmaster 177, and Leslie 517. Thank you very much.